Stay tuned after the presentation for an extended ending. Welcome back, viewers, to another thrilling episode of Scripted by Machines, where we bring your wildest fantasies to life through the power of AI. Today, we have an epic clash between two of the most fearsome killers in cinematic history, Jason Voorhees and the Predator. First, let's delve into the lore of Jason Voorhees. Born from tragedy, Jason drowned as a boy at Camp Crystal Lake due to the negligence of the camp counselors. His vengeful spirit returned, transformed into an unstoppable force of nature. Jason is known for his trademark hockey mask and machete, and his supernatural resilience. He cannot die, making him a relentless and terrifying adversary. From his initial appearances in the Friday the 13th series to his numerous resurrections, Jason has cemented his status as an immortal icon of horror. Now, let's meet the Predator. Hailing from a highly advanced alien species known as the Yautja, the Predator is a master hunter with a code of honor. These extraterrestrial beings travel across the universe seeking the most formidable prey to prove their worth. Equipped with advanced technology, including cloaking devices, plasma casters, and wrist blades, the Predator is a lethal and cunning adversary. Their hunts are ritualistic, and they possess a deep respect for worthy opponents, often collecting trophies from their kills. The Predator, first introduced in the 1987 film Predator, has since become an iconic figure in science fiction and horror. Today, these two legendary killers will face off in an epic showdown. Jason Voorhees, with his unrelenting strength and immortality, against the Predator, with its advanced technology and hunting prowess. Only one will stand victorious at the end of this encounter. Will Jason's unyielding nature overpower the Predator's technology and skill, or will the Predator's hunting expertise finally put an end to Jason's reign of terror? Stay tuned to find out in today's thrilling episode of Scripted by Machines. Let the battle begin. Deep within the dense, foreboding woods of Camp Crystal Lake, the night air is thick with tension. Legends of a masked killer haunt the area, deterring visitors and leaving the camp abandoned. Suddenly, the tranquility is shattered by the arrival of a spaceship, descending silently with its cloaking technology engaged. A group of four elite hunters have come to Earth, seeking a challenge worthy of their prowess. The Predators, each equipped with advanced weaponry and unique skills, disperse into the forest. Their infrared vision scans the surroundings, picking up on the residual heat signatures of long-gone victims. They communicate through clicks and growls, strategizing their approach. Their leader, distinguished by ornate armor and a larger plasma caster, signals the start of their hunt. Unbeknownst to the Predators, Jason Voorhees stirs in his lair, drawn by an otherworldly sense of intruders on his territory. The supernatural killer, with his hockey mask and machete, emerges from the shadows. His presence is a cold, lifeless void to the Predator's heat-sensitive vision, making him a unique and perplexing prey. As one of the Predators meticulously sets up traps, using laser tripwires and motion detectors, Jason suddenly appears from the shadows. The Predator, caught off guard, tries to react, but Jason's machete swings with brutal, unstoppable force. With one powerful stroke, Jason rips the Predator in half, its neon green blood spraying across the forest floor. The dying Predator lets out a loud, guttural growl, a distress signal that echoes through the trees, alerting the other Predators to the danger. Hearing their comrades cry, the remaining three Predators quickly regroup. They activate their cloaking devices and move silently towards the source of the growl, their infrared vision scanning for any signs of the attacker. As they approach the site, they find the mutilated remains of their fellow hunter. Realizing the severity of the threat, they communicate through a series of clicks and growls, planning a coordinated attack. The Predators set up a strategic ambush, using their advanced technology to lay traps and monitor Jason's movements. They fan out, each taking a different position to surround their quarry. Jason, sensing their presence, stalks through the woods, unfazed by the alien threat. A trip wire is set off, causing a massive log to swing from the trees. Jason narrowly dodges, revealing his position. The ambush is sprung. The three predators converge on Jason, their cloaking devices flickering as they engage in close combat. Plasma bolts light up the night, and Jason retaliates with brutal swings of his machete. Despite their superior technology, the predators struggle against Jason's raw power and supernatural resilience. One predator manages to land a hit, but Jason's hand quickly wraps around the predator's face. Realizing the danger they are in, the leader of the Predators decides to take drastic measures. Activating its shoulder-mounted cannon, it fires a concentrated energy blast at Jason. 
The blast hits Jason, causing him to stagger but not fall, his hold on the predator slips away. The predators, now desperate, back away as they decide to lure Jason into a trap. The predators lead Jason into a clearing where they have rigged explosives. As Jason steps into the trap, they detonate the charges. The explosion rocks the forest, sending debris flying. For a moment, it seems like the battle is over. However, from the smoke and rubble, Jason emerges, injured but undeterred. The three predators, witnessing Jason's resilience, charge at him with renewed ferocity. They move with incredible speed and coordination, their cloaking devices flickering as they dart in and out of visibility. Jason swings his machete, but the predators are too quick, their agile movements allowing them to land hit after hit. Plasma bolts sear his flesh, and razor-sharp blades cut into him, but Jason's supernatural endurance keeps him on his feet. Jason's slow, methodical strikes struggle to connect with the nimble predators. The leader, wielding twin wrist blades, slashes at Jason's torso, leaving deep gashes. Another predator fires a plasma cannon, dazing Jason momentarily. The third predator uses a spear to stab at Jason's side, pushing him to the ground. As the predator holds Jason to the ground with its spear, the other two predators fire precise shoulder cannon blasts into Jason's chest. His movements stop. For a moment, Jason lies motionless, the predators standing over him. The leader cautiously approaches, inspecting Jason's body to confirm the kill. As it bends down, Jason's eyes spring open, and his hand shoots up, wrapping around the predator's throat with a vice-like grip. The predator struggles, but Jason's immense strength is too much. With a sickening crunch, Jason squeezes the life out of the predator, its body going limp in his grasp. With the leader dead, the two remaining predators realize the dire situation. They attack with renewed aggression, but Jason is relentless. He grabs the fallen leader's wrist blades and uses them to deflect the plasma bolts. One predator lunges at Jason, but he sidesteps, grabbing the predator by the arm and yanking it forward. Jason drives one of the wrist blades into the predator's chest, the alien's neon green blood spraying out as it collapses. The last predator, seeing its comrades defeated, goes into a frenzy. It fires its plasma caster at Jason, hitting him squarely in the chest. Jason staggers but does not fall. The last predator lets out a vicus roar. Desperate, it activates its self-destruct device, the countdown beginning evident by the beeping. The predator charges at Jason with a roar. Jason engages the final predator in a brutal hand-to-hand -hand struggle. The predator's blades slash at Jason, but he fights back with unmatched fury. As the countdown ticks down, Jason grabs the predator by the head, smashing it into a tree with bone-crushing force. The predator, weakened but still determined, tries to crawl away, but Jason drags it back, lifting it high and impaling it on a broken tree branch. The predator's self-destruct device beeps faster, and Jason, with cold, unyielding resolve, rips the device from the predator's arm. The predator, now helpless, watches as Jason crushes the device in his hand, the countdown halting. The forest falls silent once more, the bodies of the fallen predators lying scattered around the clearing. Jason, victorious and undeterred, stands amidst the carnage, his breathing heavy but his resolve unbroken. He drags the remains of the leader's body to the edge of the lake, casting it into the dark waters. As the sun begins to rise, the legend of Camp Crystal Lake grows darker. The hunt may be over for now, but the legend of Jason Voorhees will continue. But why did the AI choose Jason as the winner? In evaluating the ultimate showdown between Jason Voorhees and the Predators, the AI analyzed various factors to determine the likely outcome of this epic battle. Here are the key reasons why the AI believes Jason Voorhees would win the majority of these encounters. Jason Voorhees possesses an unnatural, supernatural resilience that makes him virtually unkillable. Throughout his history, Jason has survived numerous attempts to destroy him, including being stabbed, shot, and even incinerated. His ability to regenerate and continue fighting despite severe injuries gives him a significant advantage over the predators, who, despite their advanced technology and physical prowess, are ultimately mortal beings. Jason's relentless nature and sheer physical strength make him a formidable opponent. He is known for his ability to overpower and outlast his adversaries through sheer brute force. The predators, while highly skilled hunters with advanced weaponry, rely on tactics and precision. Jason's ability to endure and fight through any attack disrupts their strategies and gives him the upper hand in prolonged combat. Jason's terrifying presence and reputation as an unstoppable killer instill fear in his opponents. 
the predators, despite their bravery and hunting prowess, are not immune to psychological pressure. The fear of facing a relentless, undead killer can cause hesitation and mistakes, which Jason can exploit to his advantage. Despite their advanced technology, predators are mortal beings with biological limitations. They can be injured, weakened, and ultimately killed. Jason, on the other hand, transcends these mortal constraints. His supernatural nature makes him an enduring threat that cannot be permanently eliminated by conventional means. This fundamental difference in mortality is a decisive factor in why Jason prevails in most encounters. In conclusion, the AI's analysis highlights Jason Voorhees' supernatural resilience, relentless nature, and psychological impact as key factors that tip the scales in his favor against the predators. While the predators are formidable hunters with advanced technology, their mortality and the unique challenges posed by Jason's undead nature ultimately lead to their downfall in the majority of these encounters. Jason Voorhees, as an unkillable force, stands as the ultimate victor in this clash of titans. Thank you for tuning into another exhilarating episode of Scripted by Machines. Today, we witnessed an epic clash between Jason Voorhees and the Predator. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did creating it. Remember, this series thrives on your imagination. Tell us in the comments below what battles you would like to see next. Your suggestion might just be the next epic showdown on Scripted by Machines. Whether it's horror icons, science fiction legends, or fantasy heroes, we are ready to bring your dream battles to life through the power of AI. So don't hold back, let us know your wildest ideas. Thank you once again for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. We appreciate your support and can't wait to see what epic battles you'll come up with next. Until next time, keep dreaming and keep watching. And now for the extended ending. The first light of dawn begins to break over Camp Crystal Lake, casting an eerie glow over the scene of carnage. Jason Voorhees stands victorious among the bodies of the fallen predators, their advanced technology and neon green blood a stark contrast to the rustic, haunting landscape. He drags the mutilated body of the predator leader to the lake's edge and, with a powerful heave, hurls it into the dark, murky waters. Suddenly, the sky above Camp Crystal Lake begins to shimmer. The once invisible cloaking field of a massive alien fleet dissipates, revealing enormous spacecraft hovering ominously. The ground trembles as the ships deploy, dozens of smaller craft descending and releasing wave after wave of predators onto the forest floor. Jason watches as these new enemies land, their cloaking devices flickering off to reveal their forms. Dozens upon dozens of predators encircle him, each one armed with advanced weaponry and ready for battle. Jason grips his machete tighter, his cold, lifeless eyes scanning the new threat. The battle is far from over. The predators, eager for vengeance and honor, roar in unison and charge at Jason. Plasma bolts and energy blasts fill the air, but Jason is undeterred. He moves with supernatural speed, dodging the first wave of attacks and slicing through the nearest predator with his machete. The alien's blood sprays as its body collapses to the ground. Another predator lunges at Jason with wrist blades extended. Jason catches its arm mid-swing, snapping it with a sickening crunch before driving his machete into its chest. He rips the weapon free and spins to deflect a plasma bolt with the flat of the blade, the energy dispersing harmlessly. Predators come at Jason from all directions. One leaps from a tree, only to be swatted aside like an insect. Another fires a net gun, ensnaring Jason briefly, but he tears through the net with brute strength. A predator armed with a spear rushes forward, but Jason grabs the spear mid-thrust, yanking the predator towards him and impaling it on its own weapon. The predators attempt to use their numbers to overwhelm Jason. They coordinate their attacks, some engaging him directly while others fire from a distance. Jason endures plasma burns and deep cuts, but his unyielding rage drives him forward. He decapitates one predator with a swift swing of his machete, then turns and impales another through the abdomen. As the battle rages on, the ground becomes littered with the bodies of fallen predators. Jason's relentless assault leaves no room for hesitation. He grabs one predator by the throat, lifting it off the ground and slamming it into another, crushing both beneath his strength. Another predator tries to flank him, but Jason spins, severing its head with a powerful strike. The predator's advanced technology proves futile against Jason's unrelenting ferocity. A predator with a shoulder-mounted cannon fires, hitting Jason in the shoulder. 
the impact causes him to stagger, but he quickly recovers, ripping the cannon from the predator's body and using it as a bludgeon to crush its skull. Despite his incredible resilience, Jason begins to show signs of wear. His movements slow slightly, and the wounds he sustained start to take their toll. The predators, recognizing his weakened state, press the attack even harder. One predator manages to land a slash across Jason's back, while another shoots him in the leg with a plasma bolt. Jason, undeterred by the pain, continues to fight. He impales one predator on a broken tree branch and uses its body as a shield against incoming fire. Another predator charges at him, but Jason sidesteps and drives his machete into its spine. He pulls the blade free and turns to face the remaining predators, his breathing heavy but his resolve unbroken. The predators, realizing the cost of this battle, decide to take no chances. The largest and most heavily armored of the remaining predators steps forward, activating its self-destruct device. The countdown begins. It lifts its mask up slightly, displaying its grotesque face. It proceeds to shove the self-destruct device down its own throat as it swallows it whole. It slides its mask back down and with a violent roar the predator charges at Jason, intending to take him down in a final, explosive act. Jason, sensing the impending danger, engages the predator in a brutal struggle. They grapple fiercely, trading blows with immense force. Jason manages to rip the predator's helmet off, revealing its monstrous face. He grabs the predator's head and, with a surge of strength, twists it violently, snapping its neck. The self-destruct device, still active, beeps faster. With a surge of strength and desperation, Jason lifts the predator over his head and hurls it into the lake. The predator hits the water with a splash, sinking into the depths as the countdown reaches its final seconds. Suddenly, the lake erupts in a cataclysmic explosion. The force of the blast is immense, a blinding flash of light followed by a shockwave that obliterates everything in its path. The waters of Crystal Lake vaporize, and the surrounding forest is torn apart, trees uprooted and flung like matchsticks. The ground shakes violently, and a mushroom cloud rises into the sky, visible for miles around. As the dust settles and the echoes of the explosion fade, the once serene Camp Crystal Lake is unrecognizable. The lake is gone, replaced by a massive, smoldering crater. The forest is flattened, the trees charred and broken. The air is thick with smoke and the smell of burning wood. Among the devastation, a single figure rises from the rubble. Jason Voorhees, battered and scorched but still standing, emerges from the wreckage. His indomitable will and supernatural resilience have allowed him to survive the cataclysmic blast. He surveys the destruction, his cold eyes reflecting the fiery aftermath. Jason, victorious yet again, turns and walks into the remnants of the forest. The legend of Camp Crystal Lake has taken on a new, terrifying chapter. The area, once haunted by tales of a masked killer, is now a wasteland. The site of Camp Crystal Lake becomes a forbidden zone, a place of legend and fear. Few dare to venture into the ruins, and those who do are met with an eerie silence and the lingering aura of death. Jason Voorhees remains an unyielding presence, a dark guardian of his shattered domain. In the depths of space, the predators mark Earth as a site of great honor and great danger. They know that the ultimate hunt awaits those brave enough to face the terror of Camp Crystal Lake. Yet, despite the allure of glory, many choose to stay away, heeding the warning of the tale, the legend of Jason Voorhees, the unstoppable force that even the mightiest hunters could not defeat. The hunt may be over for now, but the legend of Jason Voorhees will continue to haunt the nightmares of those who seek the thrill of the hunt. Earth, and especially Camp Crystal Lake, remains a testament to the horrors that await any who dare to challenge the unyielding killer. Down by Crystal Lake on a moonlit night Jason's out there lurking a one of right With his machete shining ready to strike Predators are hunting, they're out for a fight Jason and the predators are clash in the dark In the woods of terror where they leave their mark Monsters of the night in a deadly game Jason and the predators No one's ever the same From the stars they came With their deadly gear But Jason's been the terror For many a year Silent as a shadow With a mask so cold The predators are fierce But Jason's bold Jason and the predators A clash in the dark In the woods of terror Where they leave their mark 
monsters of the night in a deadly game. Jason and the Predators, no one's ever the same. Predators with lasers, Jason with his blade. In the silent forest where legends are made. A fight to remember, a tale of dread. Jason and the Predators, until the woods run red. In the heart of the forest where the moonlight gleams, echoes of the battle haunting screams. Who will be the victor? Who will fall? In the deadly dance they heed the call. Predators move swiftly with eyes that glow, but Jason's relentless, steady and slow. Through the trees they circle in the dark in the night, each one determined to win this fight. Jason and the Predators, a clash in the dark, in the woods of terror where they leave their mark. Monsters of the night, in a deadly game. Jason and the Predators, no one's ever the same. Predators with lasers, Jason with his blade, but Jason's sheer power makes the weak weep. Blades and lasers clash in a furious storm, in the depths of the forest a legend is born. Through the foggy mist, shadows creep, Jason's relentless, his anger deep. Predators roars echo in the still of night, as they face off in their deadly flight. Night turns to dawn, the battle rages on, neither one conceding till the break of dawn. The forest holds its breath, watching the prey, Jason and the Predators in their deadly ballet. Jason and the Predators, a clash in the dark, in the woods of terror where they leave their mark. Monsters of the night, in a deadly game. Jason and the Predators, no one's ever the same. So if you're out at night and you hear a sound, remember these legends, they're still around. Jason and the Predators, they roam the night. In the heart of the forest, they still fight. Jason and the Predators, a clash in the dark. In the woods of terror where they leave their mark. Monsters of the night, in a deadly game. Jason and the Predators, no one's ever the same. Jason Boyes. Yo, yo, it's Jason in the woods. Better watch your back. Messed up machete swinging. It's a deadly attack. Crystal Lakes, my domain where the legends rise. In this trap rap battle, you're about to meet your demise. I'm the king of the slashers. You're just a pawn.
Say 